Hey guys, this is going to be a quick walk around video of the 2015 S63 AMG formatting in black with its ideal proportion. The 2015 S class is majestic and present, yet sleek and athletic. From its proud chrome grille to its strong rear shoulder, it clearly conveyed the power and strength within. The S63 offers an exclusive AMG design lower bodywork that review the performance pedigree of the S63 AMG formatic with purposeful style, large functional mass air intakes in the deep front apron, feature airflow channeling windlet, and are set off by a matted chrome splitter. The S63 AMG also features an all-LED exterior lightning, and it is the first car without a single light bulb since the advent of electric lightning in automobile. From its headlamp to its distinctive three-tire tail lamp, Nearly 200 long-lasting and energy-efficient LED accomplish every exterior lightning function with distinctive style. The S63 AMG also comes standard with a 20-inch AMG 5-spoke alloy wheel, substantially in size and style, yet light in weight and fitted with low-profile high-performance tire. Behind the wheel is the huge ventilated cross-drill brake disc and a large brake caliber painted in silver with AMG lettering on it, V8 by turbo on the fender, body color side view mirror with LED turn signal indicator, and the uh, side camera are also built into the side view mirror. On top you have the panoramic sunroof that can be tilted up for ventilation or slide out for an open air feeling. The S63 AMG also features electronically stability program, AMG adaptive sport suspension, adaptive braking technology, anti-lock braking system, as well as brake assist. To the back, you see the striking LED tail lamps with integrated LED tail light and LED brake light. The redesigned tail lamps employ LED technology for every function with distinctive form. AMG badge on the trunk lid. At the bottom is the rear diffuser that frame the quad trapezoidal exhaust tip with dual sound mode with AMG lettering embossed on it. Park assists are also integrated into the rear bumper. And here's the look at the rear view camera that will retract once the vehicle is in reverse to help with a much easier backup. And there's the third LED brake light. Now let's check out the interior. So the door does come with self-closed automatic door. If you fail to close it, it'll close for you. The exterior color is known as black, featuring a full black Napa leather interior with burr wanted wood trims and silver aluminum trims all around. Beautiful seat with white contrast stitching. Very luxurious interior. And here's a look at the driver's side door panel. Three position memory seating. Burmester surround sound speaker and heated and ventilated seat, door lock and unlock, all four windows are fully automatic, side view mirror controlled, and it does have folded options. There's the trunk release button, and the storage compartment for the door, AMG illuminated door sill, and the AMG sport pedals. Now both front seats does feature heated and ventilated options and it features 12-way power adjustable front seat including 4-way power lumbar support with 3 preset memory for the driver's seat, steering wheel and outside mirror. The two-spoke design steering wheel is wrapped in premium wood trims with leather side grips and aluminum trims in the middle. Looks and feels really nice. Featuring multi-function control side-by-side -side for your convenience with control for audio, voice command, as well as the most frequent use function in the vehicle. Behind the wheel you have the up and down paddle shifter. There's the gear lever, up for reverse, down for drive, slightly up for neutral, and press P for park. Over here you have the windshield wiper controlled and the turn signal light controlled. The S63 AMG features a dual 12.3 inch LCD display. Now we're going to start up the electrical cabinet by pressing that button one time. 
The 12.3-inch LCD display of the instrument panel features the analog-style gauge that flank a large display with illustrated menus and shop text for vehicle information and setting. Over to the left, you have the circular air vent, as well as the steering option, lane assist, park assist, and the camera buttons. Down there, you have the light control and the parking brake at the bottom. All right, there you have the uh, sun visor mirror in the back and the active contour seat and the huge multimedia screen located in the middle. Four circular air vent in the middle with the round analog clock. Full climate control for the front passenger. Down here you have the uh, storage compartment. All right, so located on the center console is the command system with the new touchpad controller that offer intuitive access to a world of entertainment navigation and convenience. The central controller falls naturally to your hand, teaming with a new touchpad with a rotary knob and a one-touch key for major functions. You can turn the knob around to move around screen or you can also move it up, down, right or left or press down to select. There you have the sport, comfort and manual mode, suspension setting, on and off volume buttons and there's the active multi-contour seat. And here's the new touchpad controller that can respond to uh, swipe, pinch, or even handwriting. Center storage compartment with the USB and media interface cable. Glove box compartment with the cabin atomizer fragrance. And here's a closer look at the seat. Very nice upholstery material. On top you have the light control, sunglasses holder, and the SOS button to use in case of an emergency, and here's the uh, panoramic sunroof with the automatic sunshade and it can be tilt up or slide open for an open air feeling. Rear view mirror with universal garage door opener. Alcantara headliner. Sun visor mirror with a card holder. Alright, so here's a look at the rear seat. It offers seating for three and it is very spacious in the back. And a look at the rear door panel with wood trims and aluminum trims on it as well. Now let's jump into the rear seat and see how comfortable it is in the back. But first let me show you the look to the front cabin. And here's the look to the top gonna be a beautiful view for the uh, rear and the front passenger with the panoramic sunroof dual event storage compartment now rear seats are really comfortable it is well padded here's the look to the back I'm 5'8 and still have plenty of leg room in the back there you have the seat pocket now any size adult will be really comfortable in the uh, S63 AMG since it is offer uh, a lot of leg rooms and headroom. Here you have the center armrest with the uh, storage compartment and dual cup holder for the rear passenger. And here you also have the extra storage compartment now in some model, that compartment right there can be used as a uh, refrigeration compartment. Hooks on both uh, overheads and lights on it as well. Now both rear windows are fully automatic with the control for the uh, door sunshade as well. Now let's pop the trunk and see how much cargo space the trunk offer.
So the trunk in the S63 AMG offer is 16.3 cubic feet of cargo space, which is plenty of space for your need. Let's see what we have down here. I think they still have the uh, sticker seal to it, so I uh, can't open it. But uh, I'm guessing it is like your spare tires and your battery is under it. Now let's pop the hood and see what the 2015 S63 AMG have to offer. So under the hood is a 5.5 liter V8 bi turbo engine with a rack fuel injection, 7 speed AMG speed shift, MCT transmission with steering wheel mounted paddle shifter, automatic all wheel drive with eco start and stop system, pushing out 577 horsepower and an impressive amount of torque, 664 pound feet of torque. Can hit from 0 to 60 in a fast 3.9 seconds. EPA estimated fuel economy is 15 city, 23 highway, and 18 combined. Now, all AMG models are handcrafted by one person, which make it very special and unique. Alright guys, so that is it for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed the 2015 S63 AMG video. Go ahead and leave me a comment, letting me know how you guys like it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more future video of cars. And I'll see you guys next time.